So I think I've been stung walking through this wildflower meadow again. Yeah. But, but these nettles are an Very important, important food source. Yeah, they surely, yeah. They are the uh, important food plant for the caterpillars of the bigger butterflies, the nymphalids. That's the peacock, small tortoise shell, comma, and they are very important for the caterpillars. Without them, the species would die out. Now, of course, we have seen quite a few already. Talk us through the ones yeah. we've seen so uh, far. Well, it's a typical meadow, really. We've had uh, meadow brown, we've had gatekeeper, we've had small skipper, and there's some whites been flying around as well, green vein white we've had. So I would say this is a typical uh, summer meadow uh, with the uh, knapweed, which is a typical uh, plant that gives uh, nectar to the butterflies so they don't actually use it to lay eggs on but it's important for nectar uh, whereas they say stinging nettles and thistles they provide a uh, food plant for the caterpillars so you need both really you need a filling station to fill up and get fuel and you need somewhere for the next generation what tips would you give to people who want to try and encourage butterflies into their back garden yeah well there's a variety of things they can do mainly uh, butterfly conservation advise on four main plants really. Uh, depends on the size of your garden but buddly obviously the butterfly bush that is a really important one. In fact nowadays you can actually get a small uh, buddleia bush which you can put in a plant pot you know on a patio so you don't have to have a huge uh, um, bush. Um, the varieties probably the blues, the um, mauves and the purples and whites the butterflies prefer those. Uh, a yellow one goes on into the autumn, so it does give you a longer sort of period of flowering that attracts the butterflies into the autumn. They don't really like the dark blue and the uh, pink. I don't know why, but they don't seem to, to like them. So uh, my advice would be blues or purples, really. Yeah. The other plant would be verbena. Uh, the third plant is um, perennial wallflower. There's a variety called bowls mauve, that's a good one. And the last one is lavender. So those four plants are recommended by butterfly conservation to attract butterflies into your garden. Well, if you've got the space, if you've got plant the space, your own wildflower meadow. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And it, obviously if you've got a bigger garden, by all means, if you've got nettles and you've got thistles and, and grasses, because the brown butterflies, they like grasses. So yeah, depends on the size of your garden, obviously, yeah. So obviously we've cycled up for, from Attenborough yeah. today. And I mean, we've followed what is a really important wildlife corridor. Yeah, it is indeed, yeah. These um, old railway lines, cycle paths, they're important corridors because um, whilst I've been studying butterflies, we've had six species come into the area and this is one of the main ways they, they can get here is by these corridors. So uh, not just butterflies, obviously wildlife generally. So you've got a nice sort of route with uh, hedges either side and in the hedges you've got oak which attract purple air streaks, you've got elm which attract white letter air streaks. So as well as being um, a, a nice corridor for butterflies to come through, there's also plants there for the rarer species and um, it all helps to increase the number of species in the area. We get about 30, 35 in the region uh, out of about 55, 60 in the UK. So it's, we get only just over half of the, of the British species. But uh, what we get, you know, it's good. And um, they're out there for people to go out and enjoy, really. Yeah.